Tenet is written and directed by Christopher Nolan and is actually a film that is in the cinemas. So what is Tenet about? Uh, it's about people and it is made by Christopher Nolan. Anything else is spoiler territory. There was a lot of hype surrounding this film. I was personally very excited for it. Christopher Nolan is one of the best filmmakers working today. As it's one of the first films coming out uh, in the cinemas as they've been closed for so long. People saw Tenet as the film that's going to save cinema. So it had to be really good. And is Tenet good? I personally loved it. Now it's not flawless and I don't think it's Nolan's best film. But it is great. Firstly, the cast. John David Washington and Robert Pattinson, as well as Elizabeth Debicki, are all really charismatic. But for me, the standout was Kenneth Branagh. Christopher Nolan writes Branagh's character as basically a 90s action movie villain. And Branagh plays that character as a 90s action movie villain, and he really goes for it. As I said, Christopher Nolan is one of the best filmmakers working today. And he proves again why here. Nolan treats the audience as smart. There is some exposition, but for the most part, Nolan lets you figure out the film for yourself. There's a lot of complex scenes, and Nolan doesn't just feed it to you on a spoon. This film is going to need a lot of uh, rewatches to really uh, understand it. In terms of Nolan's direction, it's magnificent. Very few directors can direct an action sequence as well as Nolan. A large majority of the action is done practically, and I really respect Nolan for that. The cinematography here is fantastic, and there's a sequence involving the use of red and blue that has some of the best shots in terms of cinematography I've seen in a while. The editing is really tight knit. This film is edited by Jennifer Lame, who's never edited a film of this size before. But this film never lets you breathe. There's always a, a purpose for a sequence. The film does cut between scenes very quickly. For some people that might be jarring, but for me, it made the two and a half hour runtime fly by. Now, Christopher Nolan, in terms of the scores for his movies, usually collaborates with Hans Zimmer, but uh, Hans Zimmer is busy doing uh, Dune. So he brought in Lug Ludwig Granson, I believe it is, and his score is awesome. It's big, it's loud, and the style of it is just awesome. Now, as I said, Tenet is not perfect. The first 30 minutes of Tenet are somewhat rocky. They're entertaining, but they made the film feel kind of directionless. It's only when Kenneth Branagh's character comes in that the film really picks up. As I mentioned, this film is very complex, and for the most part, that works in the film's favour. But there are some sequences where, because it's so complex and you're not really sure what's going on, that can be hard to understand what exactly is at stake. Guys, overall, Tenet is fantastic. I had a great time watching it. I cannot wait to see it again. I'm going to give Tenet an A-. minus. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You guys are awesome. I'm hopefully going to have a review up for the New Mutants. That film actually came out. They released it. <laughs> Um, so I'm hopefully going to have a review for that, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. You guys are awesome. Blu-ray Billy, logging off.